Okay, we have got here a new air pump which is based on a USB technology. Let me just move some stuff out of me. And I kind of wanted something that can be used on a USB. And this one was relatively cheap. So look, here's your specs. I've got the six, so we're gonna have a look what's inside. Let's have a look. I really don't like undoing these, but let's have a look. It's just a box at the end of the day. Now, these are relatively a new company, really, um, to me anyway. Oh, it's good. They put a USB plug in there. So that's quite good. Let's put it down. What else do we have in here? That feels like an airstone. Oh, an airstone as well. Let's have a look. Get all this rubbish and junk together. Hmm. Yeah, okay. A length of tube, which is always creased up and hokey dokey. Now, this one's supposed to be touch sensitive, so we're going to have a look at that anyway. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah. You know, I'm not very good at unboxings. I don't really dig them, I don't understand them. But I wanted to have a quick look, see how this one operates. Oh, that's nice. It's even got a back check valve or non return, as you guys know it. Here's the power adapter. Okay, it's got quite a bit of kit with it, considering it was relatively cheap less than 20 quid. I got it for anyway. Yeah. English, German, French, and Spanish. Safety instructions always read those safety instructions. Always worth keeping an eye on. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the actual unit. So, probably find it's empty now. It's come from Japan, isn't it? We'll take this out. Let me get rid of this box. Nothing else in there? Nope. Okay, this is what you guys want to see, isn't it? So let's have a look. This has a little clip on it. Like a tape measure clip. Okay. It's not a very powerful thing, but this is actually quite nice. Quite neat, it's small. I'm going to pause the video, I'll get this set up so we can actually hear it. So I think that's quite important, isn't it? Okay. Bear with me, let me just pause the video. Okay, one thing I found out that I didn't know, I don't know if you can see that charging, is this thing is battery powered, okay? You can use it when it's plugged in, and I'm gonna show you its operation. If I hold that, that is actually, that is actually, hang on, let me take this off. There you go, and It is battery powered. It is actually working right now. So I'm gonna set it up with a bit of tubing, okay? Because obviously you would run it with that, the airline and that. We're gonna see how good this is. But at the moment, let me turn this off. That's charging. So I'm quite impressed by the technology in there. I'm assuming it's got something like a, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in there that you would charge up. So I'm going to have a quick read as well, because I'm pretty sure in an emergency that will actually do some good, because the quality of that is incredible. Touch screen as well. Yeah, not a bad bit of kit. So let me have a look, quick look. I'm going to set it up with some tube in that. Okay, so this has got some interesting functions to it. You can actually, I mean, it's running right now, okay? And you see this, if I 
do that it goes to quiet mode night mode you press it again it goes a bit louder and press it again it goes louder still that's really cool because that means you can actually turn this down when you want um, I obviously won't you won't normally need that in normal operation now this is actually rated for a 200 litre tank um, this I wouldn't actually I'd probably go for a 100 litre max um, when I tested this under underwater it was actually not as good as I expected but that's because I think these are it's battery operated this is a fantastic piece of kit guys if you ever need an air pump yeah I can't even hear it the operation is extremely quiet on that which is obviously night mode but even on the loudest one my computer makes more noise than that so that's quite a good one and it's rechargeable so you don't even have to have it plugged in all the time very nice piece of kit we'll be setting this up on the tetra um, down the line just to see how it goes this could probably run um, a small sponge filter um, or maybe an ornament you know sometimes you have these ornaments there's you are this one is the six here's a go if you want to do this this was inspired by Daniel Fishkeeping he inspired me